Hey guys. Um, sorry, I'm just really giddy because like I haven't used my ring light in a video in quite a while, so I feel kind of fancy. Um, today I am going to be doing a review slash I really need to do my nails, so I'm just gonna do it on camera because I might help some people or I just might make a fool of myself. I don't know. I'm good at that. Um, I really want to get the Kiera Skies dip kit, but that is like really expensive. So I went to Sally's today and I got the Sally's brand. Well, that's not even a Sally's brand. All Season Professional is the brand. But this is the quick dip kit and it comes with, looks, uh, it's passionate pink, white hot, and I can't read the name on the pink color but I'm going to do this for you guys I've actually gotten all of the polish off of this hand I did that on my lunch break but I only got my thumb on that hand so I have to get the rest of my polish off and then I'm gonna start this All right, so I'm going to open this box and whip out the instructions. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. All right, so this is the activator. Can you see me? Activator. Um, so we have the three colors. We got French pink, white hot, and passionate pink. Blah, blah, blah. There we are. Uh, yeah, sorry, that's a little blurry. Um, the activator comes with a spray tip. You put that in there and you spray it on your nails to set them. And then there is the brush on glue for the powder. And then here is some nail glue with some tips that they sent, but I'm not going to be using the tips because I have decent nails by myself. So I'm not going to be using tips. Um, all right, need this, need that later. Um, I think I'm just going to do the French pink on my whole nail. Um, just because that's what I want to do. I want to do that. So I don't know why I'm opening this right now. I probably should wait until I'm ready and have already read the instructions. Let's see. Number one. Wash and dry hands. Remove shine from nail with black file. Be sure to buff and higher nail plate. Um, then the next part is doing the, uh, the tips, which I'm not doing. Then apply a coat of brush on resin all over the nail and tip. One sixteenth of an inch away from the sidewall and cuticle area do not get any on the skin as it will cause lifting. Dip into any color of the quick dip powder and top off excess. Using the belly of what? Using the belly of brush on glue container, dot the glue onto the application of fresh powder until the powder is clear. What? Oh, okay. I get it, I guess. Repeat the steps, dot on the glue onto the powder, spray what? This is confusing-ish. Ish, ish, ish. ish. Alright, so the final steps are to apply one last coat of the glue.
and then spray this. Oh God, nope, it's on there, right? And I said to let it dry for five seconds, so we shall see. Um, well, that was interesting. Um, whoops. So I'm a little overzealous when I do things like this because I, um, I did three coats instead of two coats like it said. So they're a little, oh, come on, man. Right here, right there. Like, oh my God. So they're a little on the thick side. Kind of need to wash my hands right now. But they look really pretty. And it was super easy. So now, oh. Ooh, that setting spray did a wonderful job. So now I just have to file them down, I guess. But I think I did a pretty good job, so I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna file them. Uh, but I'm gonna do the other hand and then get back with you. Okay, so I have done both my hands. I did three coats on both hands, and I sprayed. The finishing spray on there and that surprisingly made it dry very very fast um, and I'm obviously gonna have to like edit this part where all you can see is my face cuz my shirt's falling off um, I did um, buff them but I do not have one of those fancy little buffing blocks so they look a little matte right now so um, I'm going to put on a top coat of my Pacifica and then see what they look like from there. Okay, so I am sincerely pleased with this product. Um, see my little crooked fingers right there? Those are not cute. Um, I really do like this product. I think next time I do it, I will try to do the French tip because this is the the pink part that you're supposed to put on the bottom of the French tip and then have the French tip so that's why it's not very what's the word uh, opaque that's why you can still see my free edge a little um, which is perfectly fine I just wanted something that was gonna look natural but they are after I file them I still haven't washed my oh still haven't washed my hands yet but cooperate oh my god they're still thicker than my natural nail, obviously, because this is, uh, I don't know if it quite is an acrylic product, but I, it feels very acrylic-like. Um, but it was so easy and quite fast. Oh, dear God. That's not cute. Look at that. You can tell where I ate today and where I didn't eat today. Thanks, Kylie. Oh, I still can't go in the right way. Oh, help me. Help me. There. Ha! Anyways, um, I am definitely going to be using this product again. Um, it was super awesome. It was fairly inexpensive. I think I paid maybe 15, 16 bucks for it. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I hope you enjoyed this. Oh, and you can also like paint over them. So it's like, oh, and they sound nice and acrylic-y and I'm so excited. Now I'm not going to be worried about my nails breaking because I have really nice natural nails. But they get kind of thin sometimes and then they break and then I get really pissed off because like if one of them breaks I have to chop them all off. That makes me sad. But now I have pretty nails and they're supposed to last for a while so I guess I'll let you know how long they last. And okay, goodbye.